Here we have Nerve Man. Nerve Man, uh, we want you to see representations of the four plexuses. Here we have, up in this region, we have the cervical plexus. Um, not, not much of a representation for it here, but an important nerve arises from it, and here it is. This nerve right here comes from the cervical plexus, immediately turns inferior and heads down to the diaphragm. Now, how would you know that that's going to the diaphragm? Well, here's the stomach, and this nerve goes just right above the stomach, and that's where the diaphragm would be. This nerve is the um, phren phrenic nerve, which innervates the diaphragm, and it, it has its origin in the cervical plexus. Here we have the brachial plexus. The brachial plexus you need to uh, recognize as the plexus. You also need to recognize um, three nerves that arise from it. Here is the axillary nerve. Axillary ner nerve innervates the uh, axilla, the underarm. And that's about the region you would expect to see the underarm. And then it divides into two primary nerves that we're interested in. One is the radial nerve and one is the ulnar nerve. The ulnar nerve is the nerve that travels down the arm and ends on the side of the little finger. And this model has a little finger so we can spot it. This is the ulnar nerve. The um, other nerve you're responsible for is the radial nerve. And the radial nerve is the nerve that ends where the thumb is. So radial nerve, ulnar nerve. And you go by which finger they end by. So. The third plexus is the lumbar plexus. And you see the lumbar plexus arising from these lumbar vertebrae and lumbar nerves right here. So here's the lumbar plexus. Now key to the lumbar plexus is that the lumbar plexus is anterior to the ilium to the pelvic girdle. Notice, here's the lumbar plexus, and posterior to it is the ilium. The lumbar plexus gives rise to an important nerve uh, for leg innervation, and that is the femoral nerve. So the femoral nerve is anterior, arises anterior to the pelvic girdle. And here is the femoral nerve, right here. Femoral nerve, anterior. The other plexus is the sacral plexus. I'm gonna turn it around. And at the level of the sacrum, we can see the sacral plexus emerging posterior to the pelvic girdle. So here's the sacral plexus in this region. It gives rise to a huge nerve called the sciatic nerve. The sciatic nerve, this large nerve, divides into a tibial nerve. The tibial nerve is on the tibial side, so that's going to be medial and a common peroneal nerve or a common fibular nerve. Common peroneal or common fibular, both names are valid. Which then divides into a superficial fibular nerve, which is gonna go to the dorsal side. No, I mean the, uh, it's gonna go to the anterior side of the foot. Well, here we have the um, deep peroneal or deep fibular nerve that goes to the posterior side of the leg.